Petrus, the magic, it's still a mystery for me. Was I've been managing Petrus for 36 years, where I pretend that out of the the 80,000 vines, I have seen each of them at least once in my life. I have touched each of them as if you see a crowd of 80,000 people and you have shaken hand with each person in that crowd. So it's a very personal relationship. And still it remains a mystery. The soul itself is a mystery. We call it blue clay. Merlot plus clay, which has been copied everywhere in the world, is normally a bad formula. All clones of Merlot at Petrus on that very unique kind of clay give that uh, uh, fantastic wine, which I can recognize because I, as a wine merchant, I purchase the wine of absolutely all the neighbors, and I'm friend with them, so which means I test almost each vat of all the chateaus of Pomol, and you recognize Petrus. I recognize Petrus right away, even in that very young age. It has a depth which is unique. I'm a little maniac. We will be testing together later today uh, four wines of very high quality and very high interest. Uh, one is Trotanois. It's half clay, half gravel, very, a little more tannic sometimes in his youth than Petrus, but very different. Trotanois, which means trop ennuyeux, too difficult to cultivate, because it's a fantastic mixture of clay and gravel. Osana, it's more on a clay soil, it's lighter, very elegant. Osana has 30% Cabernet Franc, and Osana, I try to make a wine with a lot of elegance. A, a, what I call it, a feminine version of Petrus. La Fleur, pure gravelly soil, very dense wine, but different. It has not the depth, because on a gravelly soil, you get a different kind of maturation. It's a beautiful wine, very expressive, maybe more aromatic, but which is unique to Petrus is that depth. 